previously on the Ghost Box Chronicles. While on their way to conduct a paranormal conference in Manila, Iowa, Chris Moon, Mama Moon, and Dee Garcia were invited by Alan Cornelison Sr. to investigate a little-known property called the Stagecoach Inn, located in the nearby town of Ida Grove. Alan had invited Chris out to use the ghost box at the old house in hopes of discovering what entities still resided there and why. Though Alan sent Chris several video accounts of seemingly amazing things that happened to him there, Chris had to remain impartial and treated it like any other potential investigation. The team could have never been prepared for what they were about to encounter. There's something from that location it's here with me right now. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, my dogs are going crazy now. So, yeah, we definitely have something going on here. Can anybody see anything on my neck right there? I'm, I'm feeling a oh, burn towards reddish, the back. Yeah. I'm feeling a burn towards the back. Yeah, there's some weird, weird things happening right now. Warning, this material contains disturbing images, demonic voices, and graphic concepts, including, but not limited to, murder, death threats, taunts, and non-human entities. Please, for your own safety, listen with headphones or on low volume. Refrain from watching with children present, and under no circumstances, recreate the material shown here. Everything you are about to see are true experiences of the crew and personnel involved. Names of murderers or organizations will not be said out loud. It's been two months since the team's initial investigation of the Stagecoach Inn. Plagued by a series of strange events and many unanswered questions after their first visit, the team decides to return to hold a special paranormal event and investigation at this mysterious location. We arrive back in Ida Grove, Iowa and meet up with Alan Cornelison Sr., founder and lead investigator of Wanaji Paranormal. Alan, a longtime paranormal investigator, has been working in the field since 1982. He investigated this location for six years, and for six years, the Stagecoach Inn has had a very tight hold on him. There's going to be a lot of bodies walking through here for the next couple of days. There's going to be a lot of real energy, not energy produced from some device, not from an EM pump, not from anything that, that contains batteries, but from people's soul and spirits walking through this Petri dish and they're going to be creating things that are going to grow. And I think it's it's going to be horrifying for some. Well, it really hurts, Chris. Okay, we're fast. And for others, I think it'll affect them in a profound way. You see the doors where you walk into? Have you ever been in that movie where you said, don't go in that door? It's right here. You don't want to go in that door. You're the one screaming now, don't go in that door. Alan's words here, don't go in that door, would later ring true to everyone in attendance at this special investigation. Chris Moon has said the Stagecoach Inn is number one on his list of most haunted locations. After hearing all of this, we must wonder, could the team be facing the new Amityville Horror?
there's anybody here that wants to communicate with us, you can speak into this little light and we can hear you. I'm sure you probably know this already. Yeah, I've, I've often wondered, you know, how many times you gotta say it before they get annoyed. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah, it's like you're, you're asking me the same question over and over again. <laughs> I'm sure it's been said here plenty, right? Right. Yeah. You're asking me the same question over and over again. <laughs> Did you make D sick when she was up here last time? Did you make Mama Moon sick? Yeah, this is the room I... I walked yeah. in and I did get sick. I'm telling you, it's I feel okay. Feeling, <laughs> I feel okay right now. Yeah. I, I think I need to leave. Uh-oh. Okay. Just See, we brought it up. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Out of, out of sync right now. <clears throat> so are you making everything okay? So are you making everybody sick? You're making everybody leave. What do you think about having Chris Moon come back? How do you feel about having a... Hey, uh, oh. Wait for it. That was lightning. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Perfect for EVPs. Man. It is. Okay, thank you. All right. You want to want to meet a Lightning little Lightning storms are perfect for I know. this. Yeah. John Moore, is that you? I know you don't really care for me. What is this moving behind me? I'm sorry. There was uh, talking. You hear that over here? There's something moving me, and I'm not even moving, and you weren't either. Something going on over here? Yeah, you could just hear something moving over whoa, here. Whoa, 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 4.2, went away. I had it on record, let me look at it here real quick. Were you I had a 4.6 max, and then it was a 4.2, and then it was gone. It almost sounded like it was in this chair over here, but it could have been right here. I'm not quite sure, it was the noise was coming from over here. Well, there was obviously something here for a second, mm -hmm. and then it was, it was gone. Mm -hmm. Was um, that you, John, or Martha? Were you, were you trying to show us that you're still here, still around? Still, Did you just hear a voice? Yeah. And was that stomach? No. Mm -mm. Show us that you're still here, still around? Is that you in the corner right here? That's so weird. I was Hello? In here. That doesn't uh, reflect on the reading that I got here a second No, ago. yeah, you did get a reading. What was that? Heard it. Yeah? Was that upstairs? Yeah, it was upstairs. As the team continued to investigate, they experienced and captured more unexplained I'm not activity. Going to chase you. We've done that before, haven't we? Not tonight. Guess what? Tonight I'm going to sleep in a cot in this room. As Alan and Debbie walk around asking questions for EVPs, Jim captures this light anomaly on his camera. I'm going to be a worm on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find that humorous? I was standing right here. I was all alone. Nobody was here with me. And you pulled on my coat. Remember that? Can you do the same thing right now? Oh, something's touching my back. Did it? It's like pushing me. Really? Yeah. I'm right, right behind you, but I'm not here. pushing you. Just pushing. That's it. Pushing? Yeah. As I was walking in here. That's remarkable. Simply because I just asked to pull on my coat as it did 
back in 2012, and at that same moment you feel that like you're getting pushed. And you know what? I didn't even hear you, what yeah. you had said. That's what I, I was, was talking walking about. in here. Yeah. So I said, I'm right here, mm -hmm. you know, do the same thing to me again, and I no I'm more said that, and you have, you're, you're getting pushed. I'm getting that yeah. feeling on my arms. Absolutely, and we're getting webs again. Me and Kena. Wow. This place is in pretty... <laughs> that was inappropriate, was it? I shouldn't talk <laughs> like that. So sorry. Martha, you know... I understand that, you know, you don't man. particularly care for that kind of humor, and I apologize. Another light anomaly is captured on Jim's camera as Alan sits and talks to Martha Moorhead, one of the spirits of the Stagecoach Inn. Where is it coming Who's from? Who's making the noise? I don't know if it's coming from here or upstairs or... God, who's touching my leg? Are you touching my leg? Oh, seriously, what's on my camera. ankle? What there, is on my ankle? Seriously, I have to put this down. Nothing there. You have nothing on your ankle. Do you want to stand over here and see? What I'm seeing and feel what I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah. When you were talking, Please? I was I was kind of hoping that Jim was looking directly at you because I could. Debbie was touched so intently by an unseen entity that it caused this dramatic reaction. Like a light and all the Something did just touch my arm right here. I thought it was my hair, but no. This staircase is a portal. Yeah. Oh, I could. It truly is. This is where all the activity occurs is in this area. Me and Chris Moon both, Chris would rather call it a gate, a gateway. Yeah. I can feel it. It's a really it's, it's it's right here in the energy. staircase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's, so let's, let's step out. I got to step outside. I'm sorry. Okay. I've got to. The evening began with the usual walkthrough and brief history of the inn, but during this walkthrough, the, the energy suddenly began to shift. But he died from complications of pneumonia. We've had a lot of activity in here. Uh, a majority of it is whispers. While in Judge Moorhead's room, <laughs> Dee began sensing something around her. She senses something there, but it doesn't feel right. Inevitably, Dee was attacked and violently scratched on her left arm. Chris, my arm. Yeah. Check it out, check it out. We came to the light. It's pretty intense. It's a tribal oh, scar. That's a tribal scar. No doubt about it, that's a tribal scar. Look at that. Here is a close-up of the scratch you received on her left arm. Notice how the scratch closely resembles two of the tribal symbols, the eagle feathers and the cactus flower. This being sacred Sioux land, it's no coincidence that the scratch would match the tribal symbols. Do you think it has something yep. to do with the, the color of her skin? I think it's do you, because she's Do you she's know what Aztec. I'm saying? She's because Aztec. you are. It's, see, that's what I was it's telling Kina. It's a lot. That it's mm -hmm. Aztec. Because yeah, that's your, your nationality. In our last, in our last you uh, episode, you have a lot of the same complexion they said, and hair. Why not are you the, being scratched? Not the same blood. I don't think I'm not. Yeah. The I mean, blood? obviously, I'm not the same blood. Yeah. But yeah, um, that's that. It's a war. Is what it is. I'm not the same tribe. <laughs> And I've often thought that it's, it's that residual of, of John's last days. Immediately following the moment, Dee sensed something wrong. Mama Moon begins to feel weak and ill. Whatever was in this room was attacking both Dee and Mama Moon. I started to feel very shaky. I thought I was going to pass out. Yeah. At that point, I, I noticed, I was standing next to her just like this, and I noticed that the energy was off instinctively, um, started to move my hands to adjust energies back behind you, and noticed that your energy was dropping, something seemed to be attached to you at that point, and uh, I think at that point realized when you started to drop, I put my hand on your shoulder, and that's where we realized it was time to get out. I started to feel something over my shoulder. 
It was an intense kind of pain, starting with tingling, working up to intense burning. That's down here, too. Look. Can you see it? Sandra, you okay? Do you have to? Yeah. Hold her up, please. Hold her up. Do you breathe? Oh, it really hurts, Chris. We need to get a receipt somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. Gently, gently. I've never been, in any of the investigations we've ever done, I've never been physically hurt. I never thought I would. Um, I guess that's kind of silly on my part. I tried grounding myself before I got here. But the actual feeling that something was attaching or attacking to me was just overwhelming. I felt the first time I was here that there was something very, very dark, and I wouldn't give them on it that there was a reason why. The pain got more intense, almost like a bee sting or a burn. By the time we got to the first floor, I didn't know what was going to happen. I wasn't sure if I was going to pass out. I wasn't sure if I was going to die. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. All I knew was Chris was with me. Xander was with me, trying to help me through that pain, and it was amazing. You sure you're ready? What does your uh, tattoo symbolize? It's equality. Okay. This evil presence at the inn began to show its power. One by one, it attacks attendees at the event. It was now time to begin the ghost box session and gather answers as to why these vicious attacks were taking place. Technician, who's here with us, please. Thank you, Will. I appreciate you coming through. Thank you so much. Uh, we need to communicate with the entity that's here in this location. Yeah. Can you please come through? Can you please speak to us? Thank you. Can you please speak to us? Can you please let us know that you're here? We come with respect. We come with love and reverence. Can you please identify yourself? Daddy again, Daddy, uh, Daddy. Can you please come through and speak with us, please? Speaking to the entity who's capable of doing the harm to individuals, can you please speak to us, please? During this ghost box session, Dee begins to feel an intense, burning sensation on the back of her neck. This is the second time she was targeted and attacked this night. It became very clear the evil at the end was intent on attacking Chris, and Mama Moon again, just as before. Did you see the slit here? Yeah. I wonder if it's if the one on her arm still shows because it looks like it was almost identical based upon the last time she left. Yeah. I wonder if I would have these port box up here. If it Can you identify yourself, please? Burn, burn. The word burn. Did you burn this woman? Were you the one that burned this woman? Yes or no, please? Leave. Now. You called Xander here and he's here. It's going to music. It's going to songs. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. It's never done that before. Um, the words to the songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, heard, I heard help, man. Mm -hmm. Do you need help? Do you need help? We respectfully ask that you let the spirits talk with us here. What do you need help with? Him. Him. What is his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Said yeah. No. Can you at least tell us why you are here? Get back. Is anyone here like me self sufficient? Is anyone here like me self sufficient? Mm -hmm. You. Question. D. They said D. I know, I saw. D. 
Go. Do you want me to leave? Leave. Yeah, you're talking about Christ, aren't you? Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm not doing that. That's enough. I'm not doing that. That's never happened. Nope. And for yeah. it to end up with that is the last thing that's saying, talking about the Bible. Is that a good thing? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's mocking. Yeah. It's, it's taking mocking. the premise of how the device works <coughs> and basically trying to take control of it and make mm -hmm. it something that it's not. That's what I thought. And then to take religious context and start throwing it in, that that was an it's basically saying, I'm stronger than you and I can do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it's like throwing it in our face. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay guys, night two uh, here at the Stagecoach Inn. Um, you all know what happened last night. Um, nobody's very well rested. Uh, I think we're all a little nervous and a little tense about what may or may not happen here. Uh, we're gonna do some experiments that have never been done. Uh, and we're just gonna try to see if we can bring some peace, do something to help the spirits at this location. Hopefully it goes well tonight and uh, goes you know, we're, we're more prepared, we're, we're better prepared tonight than we were yesterday, and, you know, we're hoping everything goes well. Technicians assist. Thank you. Who's here with us right now, please? Thank you. Please give me your full name. Thank you. Thank you. Are you the spirits of this house? Did you, did you live here? Home. Yes. We wanted to speak with you. Thank you so much for coming through. Sending love to all of you. We want to speak to you. My name is Chris. Are you safe to speak? They want help. They want help. Time to go. Time to go. We'll help you. D, question please. Um, how many of you are trapped here? Nine? Trapped. Nine. Trapped. Nine. Trapped. Yeah. Same thing yesterday. Six additional outside. Six additional outside. Question please. Anyone? Help us. Two. Two. They all need help. Who's your jailer? You speak freely. No, yes, no. Did you hear that? Birthday I died at my birthday party. Why is he keeping you here? Why is he keeping you here? We're all here. We're all here. They're all here. They want to communicate. Why do you want to hurt us? Not me. This isn't the one that does. How old were you at your, on your birthday? How old were you at your birthday party? 25. 25. Question? Can you tell us what happened? You. What is the name of the little kid that spoke to me earlier? What's the name of the child that spoke earlier, please? Hank. Hank. How old are you, Hank? Can you burn my shoulder, please? How old are you, Hank? You need to check it. Only one. Only one. Question. Is your mom here with you? That's right. 
That's right. Question, please. How'd you die, Hank? How'd you... Battle. Battle. I loved her. I'm coming for you. Was it something bad attacking all of us yesterday, or were you just trying to get our attention? It's evil. It's evil. Why, why hurt everybody? He's a monster. Question. Is he the one keeping her? No. No. Demon. Question. If he's not keeping you here, why are you staying? Demon? Demon. Mm -hmm. What place does the demon have here? It takes the space. Space. Did you say D? Your leg. D's leg. Go now. We're back. It's coming back now. It's coming back in. Get out. Get out. Heathen. Heathen. Oh. Heathen. Question. Why so angry? Get out. What can we do to help? No. Do you want the women out of this room? Is that what you want to get out? Yes. Good morning. Oh, I'll rape you off. Oh my god. I'm not afraid of you. The screaming. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to you and I'm not afraid of you. I love you. There may be nothing I can do, but I'm going to sit here and I'm going to talk and I'm going to ask the universe to please come and I'm sorry if that's how it's going to be. I'm asking all beings of light to come in and assist me in having you leave. I love you. I send you into the light. We forgive you for trespassing. We forgive you for all the atrocities that you've caused and we forgive you for trapping the spirits here. Go into the light. We ask for help from all the Archangels. We ask for the help from anyone who can assist us in removing this evil from this location. We send you back into the light and we forgive you for all the atrocities that you've committed. Why are you doing this? We're blocked. Technicians assist. Is Who's here, fine? please? No, you're good, right where you're at. Dan. Dan. Question? Dan, you have a question? You know who I am? You're the one. Why did you leave? Question? Anybody? Does all of our devices bother you? Yes. Do you not understand them? One is off. Do you know we love you? Was that really Alan's person in the window? No. Do you hear that? Alan, did you hear that? Did you hear that? It said no. No. Who was it? Who was that? Who was that in the window trying to trick Alan? Demon, 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 demon. I'm dead. Calling out to the spirits in this location, we're asking if anyone would like to have help moving through to the other side. 
We'd like to give you assistance in moving through to the other side. No evil can hold you, no evil can harm you if you listen to my voice and follow me. Is there anyone here who wants to go to heaven? Is there any spirit here who wants to go to heaven and be released from this location? Is there any spirit here who needs my help? Please say so now. Please. Spirits hear me? Technicians assist me? Demonic entities, we're calling out directly to you. You have to leave this location. You cannot stay in this location. You're being returned into the light. I'm very sure you're leaving. I'm absolutely, yeah, I'm official. Absolutely. You can call me a priest. You can call me whatever you like to. You are leaving and you're leaving now. Yes. You're not coming back to this location. You're being removed. Did you hear that? Yeah, I can hear it real loud and clear. Amen. 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 You can differentiate between your technician because it's the same voice every time that says we're clear. Mm -hmm. Any spirit who wants help, please listen to my voice. I'm going to have to pull you through. Faster. Faster. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. You can say what you want all night, but it's not going to make a difference. You're not frustrating me. It's completely fine. We can go ahead and just go through this battle and I'll talk over the top of you and you can talk over the top of me. But the fact is, is that we're going to release these spirits from this location no matter how long that it takes. Can the spirits hear me who want help? Please say yes. I'll tell you what. We'll shut down for now. I just, I want to ask you because you're so strong and you can keep throwing these things back in. What, what's your name? What makes you so strong? Obviously, you have Give to Give us proud. your name. You're very proud. What's your name? We'd like to address you by your name. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. We'd like to address you by your name. Thank you. It was female. Mm -hmm. And it gave us the name right there. We would all later find out, while the second ghost box session was taking place, Alan was violently attacked and scratched. After speaking with Alan about what took place, we discovered that he had been feeling uneasy during the session and pacing back and forth. You can clearly see the deep scratches left across his back. Actually, when it said, uh, who are you going to hurt tonight, uh -huh. it said Alan. It did say Alan. It said Alan first. Right, so he's, he's being tormented. Following the attack on Alan, Daniel Lutz, a member of Wanaji Paranormal, was also attacked by the evil entity at the inn. I looked, it, it stung just a little bit, so I looked down, and then I had indentations in, in my arm. Then this one over here, I felt it was stinging too, and I thought, well, I'll check that out too, and sure enough. Did you have to leave? Yes, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. This dark presence at the Stagecoach Inn was on a mission to attack every single person. No one was safe. There we go. Technicians assist. Who's here with us right now, please? Call out. Panakia, are you here? Right here. Right in the back of you. Can you talk to us? That's your name, Vanadia? Can you ask her where she's here? Why are you here? My home. My home. Yes. Tell me. Daddy. Okay. There we go, right there. Mm -hmm. Can I ask something? Go ahead. 
Are you making me feel sick? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's fast. Did it twice too. Yeah. Who are you? It's doing that again. What's it say? What's on? Thank you, technicians. We're gonna shut down. Goodbye. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's two days in a row. And we're fully charged. Hi. Are you sitting here with us now? You are? We're all scary. But Nigga, is that you? Are you here with us? Starting to get a couple hits on the millimeter over Yes, I am. I see you. People. Sitting at the table. Sam, the Door call? closing. This is my home. Funny, Joe, what, what Native American tribe are you of? Sue. 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 Twice. Sue. Sue. Twice. Can you hear me? We can hear yep. you. Yes, we can. Sue. There's something really dark right behind this guy. Behind. Who's behind? Who's behind? There's somebody right behind her. I, is there somebody? I Can she sorry. talk? Who do you want to talk? Yeah, I got cold. I thought I felt somebody right behind me. On you. No, no, I here know, it is. but here it is. Here, I don't know. No, he stopped it completely right there. Panegia, come forward. Come forward and talk to us. Meter's jumping. Why don't you let her speak? Panegia, come forward. We're here to help you. Come forward and talk to us. Shut down. We get some things over here. Oh, we need rest, to cut. Rest, 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 rest. I know. We need to shut down. Um, did that start doing it? It did it on its own. Yeah, I was getting ready to turn it off and it just did this. We need to shut down. I'm going to pass out. Okay. Here. Are you okay, Miss D? Feel okay. like you're gonna yeah, things are yeah. going to yeah. I feel You want to turn the light on? Yeah. Grab, grab okay. Dee. I can see she's, you're losing her. The vibrations coming from the device Chris was using began to create a very low frequency and made the energy shift in the room in a very intense way. Everyone in attendance felt this shift, but Dee was affected by it the most. Chris knew something was going to happen. He stated it just moments before in the session. We now know that whatever is at the end wanted to end the session in a big way, and it sure did. This place is crazy active, though. It, absolutely. Uh, man. Immediately. 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 Every yeah. room there's something going on. So. Two days of investigation, two days of questions, searching for answers, and yet again, the team leaves with more questions than they start with. The team collectively agrees that their work at the Stagecoach Inn is far from done. They will return. They know it. The spirits know it. And only time will tell what will happen.
Cut, 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 cut.